The East Newcomb Fife is, is one of the most extraordinary places on earth anyway. I mean, it, this, this little kind of um, part of the Kingdom of Fife, uh, dotted with wonderful churches, um, beautiful in their own right, uh, often um, lying kind of solitary in a sense in a cornfield or on a headland. You can hear the swing of the sea. Uh, the idea is to um, have a different kind of arts festival that's not in a city, it's not in concert halls, it's not in tents. It uses the local um, living landscape, if you like. There is just something special about the place. Um, there's a particular kind of peacefulness and depth and mystery to um, the East Nuke. Uh, so when people come to this festival, they come for more than just the music, the reading, the culture. They actually come to, I think, to be more peaceful, to, to, to get in touch with the landscape, uh, to be calm, to be still. Um, it's, it's, um, it's transforming. The artists never come for a one concert stopover and we never take touring product ever. It's always a discussed and curated program between me and the, prog and, and the artist and the artist has a huge amount of freedom. Once we've established that they're going to come, what they'll do and so on, th I, I really just try not to get in the way as much as possible. What I have encouraged recently and we've succeeded last year and this year is to have the various artists which may be five single artists or two quartets, a trio, a soloist and a singer or you know whatever it is to find ways of working together. Um, it's not exactly shotgun weddings because there is quite a lot of time to rehearse and play around but at the same time it's creating something that will only happen here or at least if it goes on to happen elsewhere it'll happen first here. I know this place is quite well because um, we come here every every season with SEO and with you know different combinations. Um, and the, for example, particularly the church we've been in today playing the Mozart Quintet is, is one of you know I think it's one of the best churches around, especially for the acoustic. And um, you know it holds quite a lot of people as well, so you can create a you know a great atmosphere there. And uh, you know, I, I love it. I love coming to this part of Scotland, actually, especially when the weather is like this. It's a wonderful um, buzz about the festival, and then we're also getting to play in these amazing churches, like in Celadike Church. Um, the acoustic is fantastic, and uh, it's quite a large church, so it can fit quite a lot of people in, which is always nice. And um, and today it was getting quite hot because of the sun, so it was turning into a little bit of an oven, which was um, made. Uh, it was just very nice and warm. <laughs> St Monan's, I am told by a composer, so it's probably not reliable, is the church in the UK that is closest to the sea and literally as you leave the church you are walking pretty well onto the beach. So it's a magic spot, it's an ancient site, it's a place where fresh water and salt water meet which means that it was probably a site for worship for the Picts apart from anything else. And again it was just one of the churches that we discovered to have a very fine acoustic, particularly for strings, and you'll find in, in all the programmes we, we put string quartets or voices there every year. Um, I'm in St Philan's Cave in Pitten Weem. Um, it's, it's quite a complex cave. You come down a very steep slope there, and then you come into a series of caves, and there's a wee altar behind me, and it's associated with the Celtic saint St Philan. Um, I don't know too much about the history, but it's clearly been a shrine for hundreds of years. And it's been associated with a saint praying here, um, people coming here in a search for healing. Uh, there's that longing in humanity uh, to get rid of the things that, um, you know, that depress it, make it, um, uh, trouble it, bring it sorrow. And this is a, a place of pilgrimage. Um, and so it was a very apt place to have this mystical little half hour of ecstatically beautiful music and searching poetry that actually touched both the mystery of the sea and mysteries of the human heart, unrepeatable.
This is Heaven Haven, A Nun Takes the Veil by uh, Gerard Manley Hopkins, one I've always loved. I have desired to go where springs not fail, to fields where flies no sharp and sided hail and a few lilies blow. And I have asked to be where no storms come, where the green swell is in the havens dumb and out of the swing of the sea. Isn't that lovely? Out of the swing of the sea.